Live here on Keeping It Real on 3FM 92.7. It's a whole hour dedicated to keeping it absolutely real. And you guys keep us busy with your wahala. Well, today's no different. We've got another dilemma to sink our teeth into. But before we get into the meat of the matter, let me say hello and a very warm welcome to our resident co-pilot, Miss Judy. How we doing? What hello, are you saying? Helen. Oh, no, 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 no. I'm you can do be- of time You today. can do better than that. Hello, Helen. This morning, I was up at the crack of dawn. You know, dissecting, slicing mm. and dicing all of Ghana, Mother Ghana's issues. And you know Mother Ghana has many, many issues. Yeah, I heard about a few all prizes. And oh, you heard it. You are yeah. here to feel it. You haven't yet topped up. No. Well, when did you last buy uh, I gas? Think a week ago. So I, I need to top up today before tomorrow. Okay, okay, okay. Tomorrow. I hope it doesn't happen. Or oh, is it a done deal? Oh, it's a done deal. Oh, wow. Oh, yeah, yeah, it's a done it deal. It looks like we have to pack our cars and take Trotro or something. Oh, yeah, 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 absolutely. Yeah. I think that's the only way. But uh, other resident co-pilot, AJ Sapon, is in the building. Woo-hoo! What are you selling? Hey. A lot, a Look lot, my sister. What <laughs> are you selling? At a point in time, hey. you know, we have to attract... <laughs> Yeah, that's why you should be here. Sponsorship. So that we can <laughs> see it live and we're, direct. We're trying to get sponsorship for we'll go our on various a quick, shows. quick, quick, quick music break. DJ <laughs> Phil, you're on cue. And then we'll get back into the meat of the matter. We'll also be joined by Amy. She's a uh, sex therapist, cum, consultant, amongst many other things. She's been doing this for a while now. We need to get into the nitty gritty. What how exactly are you doing, Helen? It means, hello, hello, I've not landed. <laughs> what exactly? Please, please, please. The secret billions. They said, don't push me, I'll go myself. Thank you. Ah. <laughs> yes, I can see I'm doing my preamble. <laughs> are you okay? I'm sorry, ma. <laughs> Forgive us, we are back. Yeah, in the diary seat, ma. <laughs> what was I? <laughs> Listen, this is Keeping It Real on 3FM at 92.7. Very shortly, we'll be getting into your dilemma of the week, introducing our guest for the week as well. So do get comfortable, get some popcorn. The Wahala is always entertaining right here on Keeping It Real on 3FM 92.7. As long as you love me. They are bold, witty, and intelligent. Keeping it real with AJ, Edith, and Helen on 3FM 92.7. Keep it together. Smile on your face, even though your heart is frowning. But hey, now you good. We both know it's a cruel world, but I will take my chance. Fighting every second of the day for your dreams, girl. I'll be a hover. You could be my destiny's child on a stinger. Keeping it real. And we are back. This is Keeping It Real on 3FM at 92.7. My name is Helen. Here with my two favorite ladies, but only on Tuesdays, Miss Judy and AJ Sapon. And we're going to be getting into our dilemma of the week. AJ, you look so busy over there. What's going I on? I know, right? I'm trying to fix up some, some proposals to send out, but... Oh, I'm on, with on, you. On, on my on my. I, I'm sorry. I'm it's just, my time. I feel like my time. I'm getting larger and larger. But anyway, how has everybody's day been? Have I asked already Long. how the actual day has been? Long, 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 long. Is Ghana still stressing? Yo, you. The way, the way I okay. I was Uh-oh. waiting. I was waiting for Friday for us to talk, get into this in depth. Right. But how is it that our MPs and our ministers 
think that it's okay. They have retreated. To excuse themselves from traffic. They have retreated. Not that they want uh, doctors and nurses to escape traffic. Or they want to AJ, get out of the traffic. They have retreated. When they are supposed to create the opportunities for us not to get stuck <laughs> no, in traffic. Be calming when down. When petrol is going high today. Be calming down. Ah, oh my God. I was like, ah. As I no, no, to be there. I don't know who I should kiss. I don't know if I should kiss. I should kiss the country no. or, or the people in charge or the petrol station. I didn't know. I didn't know who to kiss. No, no. But be calming God's down. Good. They've retreated and they've decided that this they ally hadn't. is just like, a how, bit how, too controversial. How, 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 how did they? You think so? They still do it every day. I mean, they do they, it. They do not it now, legally. Not legally, by all means. But the fact that they actually thought it would be a great idea. On in, in God's year of 2024, when petrol okay, had you been are increased, so heated. when was the today? last time you, you know, I haven't. Uh, that's yeah. why I have to relieve I have some a, stress. Yeah. I have so much pent up. I think that's about and, it. Yeah, yeah, there's so much. There's so much anxiety yeah, in my yeah, body. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Somebody has massage. to a massage yeah, in all yeah. the right places. What kind of places? And somebody who can advise where best to massage. Speaking on, of which, on that's a ball about all the, uh, the, the body. exciting places. Amishika is here, sex coach, extraordinary Hi, author, Amy. and also media personality. Oh. Amy, Woo-hoo. good evening. Good evening, Helen. How are we doing? I'm fine, thank Why you. Why are you wearing you? red? I'm doing fantastic. She's feeling sexy. Why are you wearing red today? But you're also wearing red. red. Is my favorite color. No, this was just the quickest. <laughs> <laughs> no thought went behind this. I'm, I don't care. Red is my favorite color. <laughs> As is mine. Yeah. As it is. is really? Yeah. AJ, what's your favorite color? Black. Black or red or white. Hey. Right. Say yeah, Tanya. black. Miss Judy, what about you? Black, nude, red. Okay. Do you okay. people like some dangerous? These are colors for dangerous Sexy. women. <laughs> Yeah, women who can give Sexy. broken hearts quite easily. Oh, can But red is supposed to connote what? Passion, yeah. intensity, mm. romance. Mm. There you mm. go, excitement. Mm. All mm. of those thoughts. Bonding. And black, yeah. Bonding. Black. black, I think maybe satanism. Oh, wow. Blackness. <laughs> Under the cover of night. Oh, wow. Black widow. Yeah. So, for those who answered black, um, dangerous, you know where I'm this going with This girl is with dangerous. This. Um, okay, so shall we get into our hala Let's get into of it. the weekend? The reason why Ami is here is to help us really talk tough. Because whilst this dilemma, of course, is meant to entertain, it's also meant to educate. And I think there will be some great takeaways from this wahala. Who is ready? All right, let's get into it. Now, it says, Dear Keeping It Real Ladies, I've been in a loving relationship with my boyfriend for a while now, and we both have a lot of respect for each other. I never refuse him sex, even when I'm tired or not in the mood. This is partly because in the past, he's been a little whiny and borderline aggressive when I wasn't feeling it. Plus, my girlfriends and even my aunties have always advised me that a man should get what he wants in bed at all times last night i went over to his place and everything was great he asked me to wake him up in 10 minutes so that you know we could get in a little cozy when i woke him he got really annoyed and told me to stop touching him feeling unwanted and confused i gathered my things and quietly left while he was still asleep the next morning i woke up to find myself blocked When I finally got through to him, he said I was weird for leaving in the middle of the night without telling him. I tried to explain that I left because he seemed annoyed and I didn't want to stay where I wasn't wanted. He insists that I was wrong and now he doesn't want anything to do with me. I'm genuinely confused. Was I wrong for leaving? Why doesn't he understand my side? Should I have stayed despite his attitude? And um, how do we navigate consent and mutual respect in a situation like this one? This is our dilemma of the week. Um, I mean, I'll come to you okay. to kick things off for us. Um, is it normal for people to get salty when their partners refuse them sex? And should your partner refuse you sex? Well, I think sexual pleasure, like when we're having sex, it, it should be based off mutual respect and consent. Whether you're married to the person or you've been together for a long time, you should want to have sex before you have sex with your partner. 
we shouldn't feel pressure to say yes all mm. the time. Yeah, that's how it should be. But some people feel entitled to it. And some men, usually, they feel so hurt. It hurts them so much when you say no to them, like ask their partner. And then it makes it... It makes it hard for them to like <coughs> want to be sexual with them because they feel neglected. Like, oh, this is something they expect to get from you as your partner, and you said no to them, and it makes them feel un unwanted in a way, and they get upset. Mm. A lot of people like feel like once you're with a partner, anytime they want to have sex, you should be ready to have it, but it shouldn't be the case. Everyone should want to have sex before they have it. Okay, it's not just a default that because I'm with you anytime, all no. day, every day. No. So, I mean, I guess for her, she starts off by saying that whenever he wants it, you yeah. know, it's up for grabs, yeah. no discussions. And that's partly also due to the socialization from exactly. just her girlfriends and aunties. That's what they always say. AJ, is it um, normal to feel hurt if your partner kind of refuses, especially when they've given... See the way he gingered hair? That's the one I hate. See <laughs> 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 what you ginger you? Especially by text and message. Pull from, the rug from under uh, your feet. From like, what's what going on? I'm going to do that. And I wrap your neck. And, and I close your eyes. <laughs> and, I, your and, and I pull okay. your ears. Mm. And I tie your this. Someone, and is, someone likes to No, be. no, I'm just giving some uh -huh. examples right, of right, how right. things may unfold. Okay. Somebody will be wrapping you, you're being you, only to get there and... No, I they were just. Man. I mean, although like Ami says, it's usually maybe the flip on the flip side. It's mm -hmm. really maybe men that are usually initiating and yes. getting turned out. But I think Miss Judy will also tell us that it's maybe not always the case. But I'll come to you, Miss Judy. AJ, is it normal? Um, I think, and, I, and I'm I'm glad you said that. A lot of socialization from us women has been that when the man wants it, he gets it. Whenever he, you don't withhold sex from your your partner, you never have to say no to them. You always have to be ready for them because. Um, when they ask, I mean, is the least you can do. When you withhold it from them, someone else will give it to them and you lose your man and all of that. So that's generally been our socialization as, as females. Or at least to get in there and realize that, Charlie, when you have a headache, it's legit. When you don't, you're not in the mood, it's, it's okay. Mm. When you don't want to be touched, it's okay. When there's certain p times of the month that you honestly feel like either you're PMSing or before, even after a period, you don't want to be touched, it's all right. But we have been socialized to always place the man's pleasure first even beyond just giving it to them as someone how many women actually orgasm and allow me to say that <laughs> mm -hmm. um via uh, sexual sex. intercourse or or, or penetrative sex it's very rare a lot of women actually get their 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 cli or meet their climaxes um in other ways which mm -hmm. would involve toys or whatever ways that they want Federal to stimulation. Uh, stimulation as against being with their man right. but the men almost always have orgasms with their women mm -hmm. and it's something that they've gone to a point where because you know you're gonna you're gonna get the pleasure you want you don't even seek to give the woman the pleasure that she wants or they're in a hurry to make you feel it so a lot of women actually fake it mm -hmm. but because La Subadora is Chale. coming on. And, <laughs> and, and, and the dishes are on. I mean, I have to make quite a school. Like, Chale. Really? Yeah, really? Yeah, the person is trying. You have thrown me to every side. It's not just... You appreciate that the person yeah, is trying. Yeah. But it's just that they don't... Men are men. Sometimes don't really seek to give as much pleasure. It's like we're, I need to do what I, ha I need to give you some foreplay, but not that I have to go out of my way for it. But Women even when they really think things. that they are spoiling their, in their mind, that's just them Chale. doing something that's probably even hurting you. Yeah, They're like going over. How more, many over men more. end up using? Certain accoutrements that end up even being hurtful to the woman, and yet which accoutrement? You know, I seen when never mind. <laughs> I was asking about something different. Uh, Sorry. As in, you know, when people use teeth. Teeth? Yeah. Okay, yeah, okay, okay. Yeah. I'm with you. As against no, no teeth. No teeth. Yeah. Okay, okay, okay. Uh, or or I'm other, with you. other means and ways. No, I, I was lost uh, for a while. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I'm back. Sometimes I feel pain equals pleasure, but it doesn't. When pain, yes. pain is pain. When I say ouch, it's not that I'm, I'm encouraging you. I'm honestly saying ouch. It hurts. I'm but, saying, I have to say, yeah, man, yeah, man. <laughs> <laughs> you like that? Yeah, 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 yeah. 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 Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I tie, yeah. I'm like, oh, you, I just want to do what you want, then go. And a lot of women get into that point where they feel, you know, just it's, it's a few minutes, just get it over and done with, mm -hmm. and let them go. Um, so when you actually are the initiator, when you've gone to a point where you're actually really feeling for your man and you want it, and then they turn you down, it's the most hurtful thing. Yeah, because you painful. never, ever turn them down. So why would you turn me down? And why would you not turn me down in a way that is, is more... 
is what kind? What's but, a kind yeah. way to turn somebody down if you don't want to engage? Oh, you say, oh, ba- ba- baby, not now. Let's do it in the morning. I think it's a nice. Or, 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 or let's cuddle today. If you tell me, oh, if you tell me let's cuddle today, <laughs> I'm happy to cuddle. Do you get? And then, honestly, if you say, oh, Charlie, not now. I'm actually really tired. I've had a long yeah. day. It's okay. Do you understand? But if you sort of ring me around the roses and then you finally say, Charlie, 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 maybe the baby be not done. You get? Like, it's like, ah, what's yeah. going on? So you can understand why she would be so hurt that she would say, you know what, I'm, I'm leaving this night. But then to block her and say that, all because she she just vented out in a way that she felt um was right and you not even look at how you may have caused it and you may have incited all this anger or angst or whatever Mm. and you are so cut off kind of thing with it and it's 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 off in the first place the person really doesn't care about you or your satisfaction and really shouldn't be someone you should be bothering yourself with maybe he was just tired you can be tired it's okay just tell me that you're tired I mean, and isn't cuddle. every time that your partner is going to let you down? But you always easily. do it now. So if he will do it, if you are always doing it for him, the least you could do is be a little bit more mindful. Oh, babe, let's let's cuddle. You, know you think what? that was just too harsh? That kind of like leave yeah, me alone. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. It's just wrong. Miss Judy, <laughs> a campaign. That, it's campaign. You alone. let's just you let's just lay oh. the foundation. It's campaign. Leave me alone. It's campaign. It's campaign. And this is from experience. Mm-hmm. Yes. Please, yes. DJ, yes. forgive me that me 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 AJ, it's campaign. It ca- oh, it, it does. It does. Campaign. I mean, it's campaign. Yeah, because yeah, imagine lot. shaving and then getting ready hey. and then maybe you stretch. You Sometimes you brush your, your teeth. You done your Pilates. You like, shave, <laughs> Charlie. And then you want to on a sex you run yes. on a Kuma Mama Zimbi's page <laughs> and then look that's how <laughs> you gonna found Sudan sex position. They have Tunisia. Today you're taking it all the way to East Africa. Tunisia. <laughs> Oh. You, you want sexy lingerie. Yeah, like, you the thing is on... cutting all your ribs. Eh? Oh, Charlie. Oh, what's your corset? Corset. Oh, to me, <laughs> homie. Oh, and then man. tell me that it's okay, it's okay, it's, it's okay. okay. After, you let me know. Miss Judy, please. <laughs> step in for us. by saying that when you give a man everything he wants in the relationship, mm. obviously he will treat you anywhere he wants uh-huh. in the relationship. So, they are so you should be withholding it. Yes. Sam, it's like, wow. 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 Let's get our pens and fingers out. Oh, my God. Why? Why? Him everything. Because obviously, he's getting everything he needs in a relationship. Why would he cherish you or take the relationship further? He's obviously getting everything. You know when you go to your boyfriend's house, you are cooking, you are cleaning, you are acting like a wife. Uh-huh. So why would he want to take it further when he's getting everything he wants? That's my opinion anyway. So obviously the advice they give her, I think they wanted to advise her for future endeavors, not in a relationship that she's giving the guy everything. For me, actually, when I'm asleep, it's a no-no. What? It's a no. Let's do it before or when I wake up. I have very little sleep. Okay. So when I'm sleeping... You don't want to be bothered? No. Okay. Because I'm sleeping for a max of two or three hours. Okay. So you're waking me at that time for me to get a headache mm-hmm. and what again. Mm-hmm. So mm-hmm. when I'm asleep, it's a no. So you are dating someone, maybe you don't know what he's going through, he was going through something, and he just wanted to rest. See, but how he went about it, Mr. Yes, that one is wrong. He mm-hmm. asked her to But she him. also left in the middle of the night without telling him. So I wake mm-hmm. up in the morning, I can't find my woman mm-hmm. who I fought with. So you've left. For where? Mm-hmm. I don't know. I'm thinking, what if you've gone to another man? What if something had happened to you? Ah, that's true. I can see why so, you think that. Because you, you, you left, you left, left you left. Uh, wanting you left wanting yeah. satisfaction. So does it, does it put her in a bad light that because of that, just because of that, she picked up her stuff and then just left the house? And obviously he woke up. When he finally woke up properly and was, you know, ready to get cozy, she was gone. Yeah. Was that an overreaction? How should she have handled the rejection? I think she should have spoken, waited till he woke up and then talked about it. No, but she bore. No, but at least... <laughs> but if you bore, why, why, why are you leaving? Where are you going to? So she's going, going, going to another because, because you told me that I should wait in 10 minutes' time, uh, it's going to be on and popping. Then you shoo me away. What am I waiting there for? She felt unwanted. <laughs> But you guys are saying that you agree how he went about it was the wrong yeah, thing. Wrong. So why do you agree, disagree with but her he, reaction? He woke up from, you know, some people, uh, like, when, when you wake, wake them up from sleep, they're not like... They the can nice punch you people. even. Yeah. Yes. So it's very possible that although oh, he yes. wanted to have sex later, when he slept, 
he just, I mean, was too tired or like he was just caught off guard. She needed to wait and talk to him before leaving. It was unfair that she left. And he also took it too far by blocking her. That was doing too much. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, so both of them are quite no, dramatic but if, people. If we look at it from the, the, the reverse, if a mm. man... You, my man wanted yes. um, sex from you and you said no you yes. and you, you shoot him away and he now left your home you would think he's going to another woman wouldn't yeah. you yeah. oh no you, would you uh, not would, would you that be the be case very maybe you be I, very I, I, I would think maybe you're going he's, to another he's just very your, angry and wants to yeah, angry. you are leaving to go away mm-hmm. oh, quite. Oh, quite. they that don't know they how, how, how do I know you went to your house how do I not know that you went to someone who's been Giving you stress about coming mm. over to their place, but I would honestly think the same thing. But is speaking of this reverse that you mm-hmm. scenario you guys are creating, would you then say that oh, <coughs> beg your pardon, this guy is too dramatic for leaving? Would that cast a negative light on him? Yes, yes. yes. And I'd have assumed that you've the gone straight to another woman, woman, which makes it even worse. Like you're just wait, that is what you would infer. I'd have probably yeah. blocked him too. Yeah, two wrongs. I'd be so right. mad. I wouldn't want that. You could have. She, she could have gone to another room. Hopefully, they yeah. had yeah. another room. You need space. When he wakes up, you give him attitude and then talk about it. Like, why did you do that? I, I really wanted to have sex with you. And then you, you left me hanging. And then the way you said no to me, I didn't like it. I felt unwanted. You should have talked about it before. Mm. Yeah. Well, time check. It is some um, 29 minutes to the top of the hour, 8 p.m. This is Keeping It Real on 3FM 92.7. Have yet another wahala to dissect this evening. And this one has to do with consent, issues of being rejected as far as sex is concerned in romantic relationships, and how to navigate those difficult conversations. Okay, so ladies, is it embarrassing when you get rejected? Very, is that very is that very is, is, is that really what is your your ego is head? Yeah. What does that make you think? Does that make you sometimes think, wait, is it me? Is it, does that happen? It, is that an attack on the ego? Miss Judy, It does. You're going to think, am I not enough? Mm-hmm. Um, I don't do it right. What's wrong with me? He doesn't want me anymore. You're going to think of all the nasty things about yourself. Mm. You might even start smelling yourself, whether you're not smelling Maybe that Maybe it's good. something yeah. with your, so yeah. that your ego will be hurt. Very hurt. I mean, why is it so embarrassing when <laughs> you want to have sex with somebody <laughs> and they say no? You know, there's a thing to mm. say that there's an assumption that men are always ready for sex. Yes. So as a woman, if you hit on a man or you're ready to have sex and he says no. Then it means you so are negative. Like, how come? Like okay. he's always so who is he gonna have sex with or is it that he no longer likes you? Mm. But we shouldn't take it like that because same way like we're allowed to say no when we don't want to, we should be able to take no from a man. Mm. Maybe he's just too tired, he has a lot on his mind, he's not yeah. okay. We should mm. be able to s- like accept that oh it's not always about us mm. i like that perspective as well do we think men have too much pressure to always or feel so much pressure to always be in the mood so even when he's he doesn't want to the idea is that well men are always up for it mm-hmm. and is that the kind of pressure we think that the society puts on men to always be in the mood so i think for some men like mm. it gets to them because there was a time we're talking about faking orgasms and a man told me he fakes sometimes what? and that there are times uh-huh. that you don't want to some men fake where like you are too tired and because or you take a water gun and then you just be spraying it you on just her back in the middle of so the like road. because your partner is ready and mm-hmm. as the man you're supposed to always be ready you just go with it but because like i mean you're not really in the mood it might take you too long to come and then because i mean you want to relieve her the stress you don't want to let her know that well i'm not getting there you fake it so you pretend to come and then you just quickly oh, oh, oh yeah oh, so you don't let her see oh, that you didn't come in the condo that's what i'm saying somebody or, said they'll take a water pistol and then on the back just pew pew yeah. and then run away I would say, oh, we are finished. Because they don't want you to feel that, like, you are maybe the less no than, than okay. It serves them right, because we are almost always faking. So if they fake one or two, it's fine. Oh, we wow. should stop. We, we should stop. stop. Why should we stop doing that? Because in the end, it, they'll keep doing the the bad things that they are doing to you. And, and it's then. a disservice to you yourself. Yeah, because okay. yeah, yeah, they'll think they are so good at what they are doing, because they are faking. And every time you have sex with them, they'll keep doing the same thing. And they think they are so good at it and they'll be so proud of themselves like we shouldn't do that let them know that he it's, it's not working communicate and then yeah. you can find ways to make it work all right ladies i have a friend who wants to share an anonymous account <laughs> of something we'll call her hannah okay. okay and hannah wants you to weigh in on this because it happened maybe in 2021 according to hannah and she said that oh back then she was dating this guy 
and he was going for his favorite uncle's 10-year memorial service, right? So somebody he was very close to, and it's a sore spot for him. And so Hannah asked, oh, my sweet ass, when you come back, how do you want to be cheered up? Should I bring some, you know, wine, and then we'll get together, you know, make it do what it do. And the boyfriend at the time said, yeah, you know what, actually, um, why not? It's going to be a solemn day. I'd, I'd rather come home and have some fun and forget about it. So Hannah waited patiently for him to come home, set the mood, got the drinks chilled and everything. And those drinks were not cheap, mm. as far as Hannah is telling me. And so he gets in and she's thinking, okay, as per our earlier discussion, he wants it to be on and popping, only to be met with, you know, why are you doing this? You're so insensitive. You know, I just came back from a funeral. Why, why are you like this? <laughs> Wait, what? Did I kill anyone? <laughs> 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 it, it was the Hannah's boyfriend now that said that, oh, Leah, I want to get on and pop him because today is going to be solemn. It's a 10 year memorial, <laughs> something like that. So, and then when he came, he was doing style style. Hannah proceeded to, you know, and then she just got a midway, got her, her hands, you know, stopped. Said, ah. You know, I've just gone for a few now. Why is your mind so... I mean, what's the meaning of that? Weighing on this for me, ladies. Was <laughs> Hannah in the wrong? No. No. He asked for it, and she did it, and then... He well, he got him. back home, and maybe he was feeling change a bit... Heart. Change of heart. But how should that have been handled? Wait, whose funeral was it? <laughs> Somebody is very close. <laughs> Doesn't matter. It's a very close family member. But maybe so when he, felt, he went there, he felt so yes, sad. Yes, it was a 10-year memorial. Yeah. Yes. The person died 10 years ago. <laughs> so <it just Yeah. laughs> Hold on, let's see if I get this. The person died 10 years ago. Yes. He went for a memorial. Yes. He came back, girl wants to initiate sexy time. Because prior to him going, he, he said, said when, that, I come that's back, when I come back, baby, I think that's wow. what I want. He was like, because uh -huh. she was concerned, what should we do? How do I cheer you up? Should we have a fun night or do you want it solemn? <laughs> you know, is it what? The, is it you the want small display? Small of display. <laughs> uh -huh, a bit of display. He said, I want a bit of display. She said, I oh, bet. <laughs> She gets everything together, the wine, all of oh that. Only need to be met with, ah, you had a lot of wine touch with you. I just came back from Melvin. Now, Mikela. No, wait, wait. Yes. This, this person that they know died 10 years ago. Oh, why is that? Let, let's find let's an stuff important stuff. thing. It's a very important piece of information. <laughs> yes. 10 years ago. <laughs> I was not in the picture 10 years ago. So you're saying that the person can't feel sad or what? I had no hand in that person dying 10 years ago. Of course not. Uh -huh. So you go for a 10-year memorial and come back. Yes. After you give me clear signs that when you come back, you'll be ready, you'll be ready for some sexy time. Mm -hmm. And now you think I'm the bad person for taking you on your word and preparing for sexy time. But the person came back and clearly had a change of heart. You can't have a you change of heart. You can't have a change of heart like that. Oh, ladies. No, I think you can't have a change of heart like that. I'm in the mood like that. Feel free to change your heart. You can't have a change of 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 heart. But then text me. I'll be here to text me that. But I can't, guys. I have changed my heart. I'm so angry. Or babe, you know what? Can we just cuddle tonight? Or can we just sleep? Or I'm not actually. I feel so bad. I mean, that I can understand. Maybe the language could have been better. But to say, ah, why do you know? I just came with. Why you touching me? How will I know that you are feeling? I would assume I need to cheer you up. And the best way to cheer you up is to 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 bond in different ways. That one. You had some thoughts on this one. The way AJ is saying it, I'm having so many. Uh, I'm uh, waiting wait on this yeah. one for me. So, you know, some like this, you know, we're, we're all allowed to change our minds at any time. Of point. course. Even when you start for play, if you feel like you don't want to continue Consent can always you be should withdrawn. You yeah. should be able to stop. But we, sh we need to find nice ways to go about yeah, it. Yeah, just tell me. Yeah. But something like that, you need to talk about it after, because that happened the first time. Mm -hmm. So you talk about it, I let you know that it's okay to change your mind. But please find a nicer way to nav uh, do that so that I don't feel unwanted or yeah. like it will hurt my feelings when you do it that way. Mm. So that that way, both of you are like okay, and then you love your relationship, mm. so it doesn't happen again. All right, so let's get back to our dilemma for the mm -hmm. week, and then we'll open up the phone lines, and then okay. also talk about what the best way to initiate sexy time okay. is in a way that's respectful and is embarrassment-proof. 
Um, I'll plug our phone lines and then Ami, I'll come to you okay. on this one. So actually, finally, finally, what should our lady do? She says, well, now they are, you know, fighting. She's been blocked. She says they have, by all accounts, a good relationship. Apart from this one or two, one or two, what should she do? How should she bring up the conversation and should she go back? So now she's been blocked. She's been blocked. So it's give the guy time. Okay. But take care of your mental health. That's most important. Okay. Obviously, if it has anything to go by, you're thinking, what did I do wrong? Mm -hmm. Am I not enough and all that? So take Mm -hmm. care of your health. You can wait a few days and get in touch with him. You can go there or whatever. But whichever way, me, I would hold my head high. Okay. I will not be made to feel less of myself by any man. Okay. So if he seems not to want to be with you anymore, that's fine. Mm -hmm. If a man could take something that little and block you, Mm. it means he's had intentions of Mm. doing something that bad for long and Mm. he's been finding ways of making it happen. I remember someone shared um, a joke that a married person um, filed for a divorce because he dreamt that the wife is cheating. <laughs> so obviously, men who go through length right. to make sure what they want is done. So Makes for sense. all you know, you don't know what he's going through or he's seeing someone else. So i would have that conversation with you. If it looks like you don't want me anymore, let's move on. Life let's is short. move on. AJ, yes. what should she do? Um, I honestly think that... If a man can block you over something like that without have, giving you an opportunity to explain yourself, he already has doubts that you're already doing other things. That's why he mm. uses this opportunity to say, you know, cut it off. Because so you're he saying he's using it as a care of. No, no, no. He, he clearly suspects that you are up to no good. Mm. And if someone doesn't trust you that well, you need to really reevaluate your relationship. Um, I think were, she wasn't wrong for leaving so abruptly. Beyond the fact that he would think that you're cheating, he also he's also right to worry because anything could have happened to you. Mm. And the last place that everyone yeah. knew you were was his house. That's right. If you had you had been caught by a serial killer and then walking up by the side of the road or whatever or something had happened to you, the only one that would come to and say you are responsible would be the man. So he's also very right to say that Charlie, I don't want someone that will bring me stress mm-hmm. be, simply because I say no, you've gotten up and left the house. Like that's a good point. You? Safety issues as well. Yes. You have an argument, and mm-hmm. women do that. You have an argument, and then you leave, you storm out. And, you know, Oh, that happen. could be a trigger. Maybe he's been in prior relationships where people mm-hmm. walk away from that. So he's like, you know what? I'm never about to get into that sort of toxic mess in the first place. So if you've done it now, then it's okay. Keep keep walking. You've worked out. Keep walking. Um, perhaps give it a bit of time and try and have an honest conversation with him. But I don't think I don't really see the relationship going anywhere mm-hmm. um, with how this premise is being set mm. for both of them. I don't really see them advancing and getting back together and becoming a happy luck uh, go lucky couple so i think she should it'll be best for her to start counting her losses and then tightening her belt and proceeding back into the decent markets because it's it's, oh, it's hard out there in the streets ten <laughs> Where is, i mean i'll come to you then we'll open up the phone lines okay what do you okay. think should she stay should she go i think they need to talk because she needs to explain how she felt when she woke him up and like he acted the way he did because he needs to understand why, like, she felt the need to leave. Because feeling unwanted and her, like, suddenly feeling like, okay, you, you, don't, you don't want me now, so let me just pack my bags and leave. Maybe in the past, um, somebody made her feel that way too. And, and, I mean, it could be her past experiences that led her to, like, pack her bags and leave. So they need to talk. I think she should give right. him some time. And then she should talk to him. And they should talk about how, like, both of them are allowed a chance to say no when they don't feel like having sex because her feeling pressure to say yes every time is not okay because that can lead to resentment at a point mm. if you don't want to have sex and you end up doing it because your partner wants it you might not enjoy it it'll be painful right. you get hit and you won't like it's not necessary like you shouldn't do it so you, they should be able to have a conversation where both of them understands that if i ever feel like i don't want to have sex with you i should be able to have uh, say it but we should find a nice way to say it too Absolutely. If there's a phrase or something they can come up with where, like, okay, if I need space in this moment, I, I should say that phrase so you understand that, okay, I'm not in the mood to have sex right now. Mm. And we can have it another time. Me not having sex with you now doesn't mean that I don't want to have sex with you ever again. All right. Like, mm. yeah, for like couples should be able to have such conversations so that nobody feels pressured to do something they don't want to do. Mm. So if she can explain how she felt, and you can also explain why, okay, in that moment, oh, I told you, 
we were gonna have sex but in that moment maybe i didn't realize because i was sleeping right or like i didn't feel okay when you woke me up but i needed you to wait so we talk about it later and it was unfair to me that you left because maybe i woke up and i was worried you right. brought back like negative feelings from the past that i wasn't trying to remember and women do it sometimes when we are so mad at um personally in the past when i'm mad at my man i'll just block <laughs> really i've, I've never understood before. the concept mm. of blocking because we one we'll have to hash it out so maybe at that time i don't want to talk to you but me if i don't talk to you i just won't talk yeah they see my body you i i won't call the, you i won't call you i won't i just i'm the I'm easiest <laughs> i'm the easiest pe- person to block you. once you block me i don't Honestly, fight you i don't I it won't come back to ask you questions. Blocked, so. I'm Never. No. If you block me, if you make a mistake and, and you, you block, block me, me. Listen, oh. I better, I better stay blocked. I've done it before. No, no, I, I'm, I'm literally like, I actually blocked him. No, we were living together. I blocked him because <laughs> I was just angry. You're living once you block me, I unblocked him later. <laughs> once you block me, once you cut me off, eh? I'm the is mm. I, I won't ask you any questions. But I'm not gonna come back and find out. Block you. I, will, I will mourn in my head and I'll keep Sometimes you're like, oh, I'll call the person. So mm. let me stop myself. I promise you, I'll never call you again. Never, ever. Oh, if, you're, if, you're, if you ask. What you gonna do? It just says if you act up, you can no, no, stay no, 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 no. over no, no, there. If you act you up around me, me and then you say, oh, eh, I won't do it. It's okay. Don't do. I won't ask you questions. Just don't do. I'm I'm so weird like that. block because that's your way of telling you i need some space okay uh-huh. you don't you don't want to interact yes okay. so if you block me so that's that could be yes yeah. i remember i mean that's that's hard. Hard. i haven't it hasn't okay. always been this way i've got to be honest of course when you're younger certain you things are um mm. the way you deal with heartbreak is different but what i would do though would be delete the number if i didn't want to call you i, I didn't want to i want to yeah. fight the edge to call you then i simply delete the number so no blocking or anything mm-hmm. delete it and then i don't pick up on no numbers but i might know that the last few numbers so after a while i just know to avoid that number but it doesn't compel me to ring the person remember one time i deleted the number from every platform and then i went to download an app uh-huh. that helps you retrieve <laughs> <laughs> oh. that helps you delete retrieve deleted numbers that's how much i was touching Girl, I'm waiting on you. that is how much i was oh, ta- delete the number make sure you know how you delete the messages as well to make sure there's no trace deleted everything and then this was me two days later over. Pardon? You don't want to read over the message. No, 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 no. I didn't want to have the number. I didn't I didn't want to call the person. So I needed to make sure I didn't have the number anywhere. <laughs> At least it is so much that I mean, so I couldn't find it. Spent another 24 hours looking uh-huh. for the number. <laughs> I want to find an app that lets you find it. <laughs> so did you get the number finally? Got the number and then I called. <laughs> <laughs> After all of that. Okay, I'll plug our numbers. And then you two can weigh in on the conversation. Zero double five nine two four two seven one seven. That's zero double five nine two four two seven one seven. Or give us a call on zero double five six nine one zero one five four. Phone lines are blinking. Let's get on to our first caller. Hello, good morning. Ah, uh, apologies, we've lost that caller. Hello, good morning. Not good morning. Good evening. There we go. Yes. Hi. Good evening. Good morning. Good evening, please. Good evening. We've reset the clock. Good evening. Who am I speaking to? Where are you calling us from? Yeah, Nana. Ah, my one and only. How are we doing this evening? I'm okay. Okay, but I know you're not waiting for me. You've given up. You can't do me by me out. Oh, let's not, let's not go there. But Nana, it's great to hear your voice. What do you think about this evening's dilemma? Give us some of your nuggets of wisdom. I think, wait, so the, the lady says that the guy says it's over between them. Well, he has blocked her. Um, he says that nothing she... Nothing has been said about Nothing has been said. I mean, they're just in the heat of the, of oh, the okay, fight okay. and they haven't broken up. This person left, the other person blocked. That's where they are at at this moment. Oh, okay, okay. Then I think time is the best just. You should just give him room to breathe and then um, as time goes so they will know they are they are not less level. However, what I want to talk about mostly is about this whole sex and men thing. Mm. See, I, I keep saying that a lot of miseducation has been part of our education. And this right. is one of them. It made it look as if men are the only ones who need sex. Men are the only ones who who, who feel like they want to have sex and who want to experience that and so they the miseducation is that oh if you are with your partner the moment he asks you should be up and running. Well, 
these human beings that we are, we all experience it. You have to be in the mood. You have to be. You have to That's be right. Mature. Me, personally, if a woman gives me a sign or makes me feel like the sex that is about to happen, you know, it's a favor. It will never happen. I'm gone. I'm, I'm not doing it. Okay. Because if you do that, you make, you make me feel like it's transactional. And I don't do that business. Mm. It has to happen. It has to happen because you want to do it. That way, you don't regret. You don't do it because, and after you say, ah, you, you feel like, oh, I didn't even want to do it, and I did it, and you are not grateful. No, 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 no. I don't play that card. If you are doing it, you are doing it because you want to do it. You are doing it willingly. So there's no regret after. And the mm. men too. Charlie, sex is not just about you. The way you experience it, you know, the way you feel like it is the same way she also has to feel like it. So even if she's not in the mood, try and put her in the mood and don't go gun blazing. This is okay. your best right. Okay. It doesn't make sense. Well, Nana, can I ask you a question? It's a little bit of a personal one. Have you ever turned down your partner um, after they've requested for sex? Uh, yes. Why was that? What was the reason? Were you tired, not in the mood? What was going on? Okay, so this is the thing. I'm the last person that sleeps at home, okay? She sleeps early, so she will definitely wake up before I do. Right. And sometimes, the time that I'll say I'm trying to get to rest, you know, that's where she's in the mood. In most cases, she'll have a way. But sometimes, I see. You, know, you understand? In most cases, she'll have a way. And you see, one thing too is that, you see, we mistake erection to mean that a man wants to have sex. Okay. See, I can have erection all right. It doesn't mean that I want to have sex. I mean, people have erections at funerals and all sorts. They are not in the mood, <laughs> but it happens. Well, that's, that's, <laughs> yeah, so that's it. So, yes, sometimes, and she understands. Sometimes, on one hour, yeah, and then she realizes it's a little, let me leave her be. Mm. But in most cases, she will have a way. Okay. Okay. You know, so it's not just because sometimes to, I will be in the mood. She's not in the mood. I can see that she's compromising for me. So when it's her turn, I don't just brush it off. Sometimes me mm. I compromise and So yeah, even in the in the sex department, you say it's also about compromise. Sometimes yeah. you won't really be in the mood, but you make that sacrifice, and then vice versa. Is yeah, that yeah, is yeah. that a fair trade off? Yes, I think so, Charlie. Mm. Because you have, you can't say both of you are. Oh, there are some days that look. We, both of us, you know, we start the whole initiation from morning. You know. We'll be out with we'll be texting, we'll be doing whatever. When we go, we know that Charlie, we are both in the mood. That's what we are going to do in sleep. And there are certain times too that one will be in the mood, one will not be. There is not always that we are always both in the mood. No, 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 no. But sometimes when it happens, sometimes we can understand each other. We'll let right. You go. And sometimes we have to, you know, compromise. Absolutely. Well, well, Nana, exactly. thank you so much, as always, for weighing in on the issues. Nana is a honorary, uh, shall I say, co-pilot on a keeping aid real. Miss Judy, we have some comments on Facebook. Let's hear it. Yeah. Um, he says you should have waited until he calmed down. And if you were, sorry, my eyes are shaking. Oh. oh you should no. have waited until he calmed down. And if you were to be ladies, you would be expecting him to pamper you whilst you're angry. So why don't you do the same? Um, Raphael, just run for your life. The guy is tired and just looking for an opportunity to end the relationship. I don't see why a simple can't be solved easily. Um, comfort. My husband cry, will not behave so. Now nah, boyfriend. Boy, let's wow. go. <laughs> wow. Pop, you too, you are human and you have emotions. You shouldn't be always, you shouldn't be this way always. You did the right thing. Go on. Um, legend. He has already planned this. Trust me, he just wants to break up with you. Um, yeah, so basically they're all talking about the same thing. Okay, so it appears that that's the advice for our lady. Well, time check. It is some six minutes to the top of the hour. We'll be saying adios, au revoir, and making way to one of our, uh, shall I say, newer kids on the block and if you've missed the wind down it is back in a full effect and Nanye is at the helm of affairs i think he's here already but he'll be taking over when we sign out i mean how do you um advise that one initiates sexy time in a way that is um you know embarrassment proof 
And so um, there are several ways. Okay. Okay. So one way, like if you are together, there's a bell. There's this red bell with the the hand is black with sex written on it. It's for people who live together, couples that live together. Once you hear the bell ringing, it means that your partner wants to have sex. <laughs> ah, so, so sort of ring for sex. Switch. It's a ring for sex. R- I see. Where have you heard of that? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Okay, so you advise, you have it but in the house. Okay. It's not as sex. <laughs> it's mm. a way to let your partner know that I'm in the mood. <laughs> I saw somebody who will run out with their plates because they're used to the bell being, you know, <laughs> chota. But it's an established thing where mm. everybody knows that once you hear the bell is rang, you know, you can work with. <laughs> in fact, let me get Nanya in here real you can quick. Work with your looks. Um, where's Nanya? Nanya, get in here. Um, and let's pick his <laughs> thoughts two seconds. Uh, <laughs> see what he thinks before he takes over for Wind Down. It's Nanya! Doing? I'm good. Though. Hey, this your spurs. This your spurs. Hey, 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 hey. I'm, I'm here for the sex bell. For that. <laughs> <laughs> Ami says ring for sex. <laughs> hey, I want one. I see. And I think Ami, you have some of that paraphernalia also. I, I, I wish I'd bought it. Oh, okay. So, but it's like a literal it's bell. Feel, it, it's written, written, I see. Written. I see. And you just ding ring ding. it and ding you ding. get it on and pop it. But ding. Ding. Nine, like I said, we have a new kid on the block. I like the bell. Ding ding. <laughs> Let's focus, guys. So, Nanye, you have taken over the Wind Down segment. I have indeed. I How's have it indeed. going? It's going well. It's going well. I, I'm, I'm making Hannah proud. Oh. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I'm making sure. Better watch yourself. By the time, by the time Hannah's man goes home, he won't be tired. Oh, wow. After listening to Wind Down, it's all there. All right. Well, time check. It is some three minutes until we bid you farewell. Eric, Ebek, Eb, I can't even speak. Eric, Mauna, Egbert. If I last hear Mawena, Mawena, good evening to you. Swing the microphone your way. Good evening. How are you doing? How are we managing? I don't want to ask you your opinion yes, on this dilemma. No, 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 because Mawena does very serious work here at Media no, General. No, 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 Okay, okay, very, very quickly. Somebody tried to initiate sexy time with her boyfriend and got turned down. She's very embarrassed by it. Um, you know, are her feelings valid? Should, should men always be in the mood? Or should we allow the men to also, you know, take their foot off the pedal? That's the perception that you guys are always ready to go. Just blow on the ear. Blow on the left Ring ear. The bell. They're, they're, they're good to go. It's a, it's a tight spot, but I think there's a, there's a conversation they need to have. Uh-huh. There's a conversation. Something is not right somewhere mm. that needs. There's a, there's a conversation that needs to happen. Mm. I don't subscribe to men always ready on the go, but I mean, there's a way that he could go about it, which could probably not hurt her feelings. And so perhaps they need to have a conversation. Something might have happened, and he's using it as a reason to want to turn I it down. I see. Yeah. Very diplomatic indeed. Mauna for president. Let's give it up. <laughs> Au revoir and goodbye. This has been Keeping It Real on 3FM 92.7. My name is Helen. I've been here with Miss Judy, AJ Sapon, and Ami Shika, sex coach extraordinaire. We'll make way for the news and also for Wine Down with Nanye. As always, God might not be done with you, but we won. We are. We'll see you next week.